But let me do this. Um, I've been up since one o'clock in the morning. The reason I'm hoarse is I have been praying for you and my heart is very burnt for you. And I want to be very careful with this and it's not what I want to say. But the Jezebel spirit has already been here. The Jezebel spirit opened our event. This is a rebuke and a correction of no one. This is an observation. If Mark wanted to say that, he should have said it to me first. Guys, we got to talk about this Pastor Mark Driscoll. He was kicked off stage at a mega church for criticizing another pastor's decision to have an opener essentially strip. The guy swallowed a sword, got on a stripper pole, had his shirt off in front of hundreds of men who are all Christians, by the way. The Stronger Men Conference is supposed to be about promoting Christian men and getting away from this Jezebel spirit, which is what Mark Driscoll was claiming this guy was opening the conference up with. Now, this uh, stripper guy here, he does have a past of actually being a stripper, going to gay bars, women bars, etc. Anywhere someone needs someone to take clothes off, he was there. We'll take a look at that as well. But let's take a look at this article. Before you do that, hit that like button, drop a comment. And if you're new, subscribe. Let's do it. Pastor Mark Driscoll gets kicked off stage for criticizing strip show like performance at mega church events. I mean, look at this picture right here. Does this look appropriate for a Christian conference? Answer is no. Controversy erupted at Stronger Men's Conference in Springfield, Missouri, organized by James River Church, a notable Pentecostal megal church, when Pastor Mark Driscoll publicly uh, criticized a strip show-like performance by Alex Dra Magala, I probably said that wrong, a sword swallower and Vegas performer known for his past as a male stripper. Right there, Mel Stripper. Five-minute Google search would have showed up that, hey, uh, this guy has a past of stripping, you know, lustfully, sexually. And he probably did hook up with these people, men or women. I mean, it doesn't say who he swings with, but just use your imagination. They shouldn't have had this guy get up there on stage. The incident unfolded after Magala, also recognized for his appearance on Britain's Got Talent, performed at the conference with a shirtless act. The outspoken pastor took the stage and expressed his dismay suggesting that the performance was akin to the seductive acts found in a strip club and indicative of a Jezebel spirit. I mean, it makes total sense. Total sense. You got a guy in front of other guys getting naked, swallowing a sword while being on a pole. It's very disturbing. The term Jezebel spirit originates from biblical figure Jezebel, the wife of King Ahab, who is mentioned in the books of the kings in the Old Testament. In contemporary Christian thought, a Jezebel spirit is seen as demonic spirit or influence that leads individuals, particularly women, through not exclusively to engage in similar behaviors ascribed to Jezebel, such as manipulation, sexual immorality, and rebelling against God's ordained order. Now, here's what Mark Driscoll had to say that eventually got him removed from stage by the other pastor, John Liddell. Quote, the Jezebel spirit opened our event. On it was a pole. Now, you see a poll at a Christian conference, you know something inappropriate is about to happen. I'm just saying that's a big sign that there shouldn't be something going on that's about to go on, that maybe we should close the curtains, right? The same thing that's used in a strip club for women, 100% facts there, who have seen Jezebel's spirit to seduce men. In front of that was a man who ripped his shirt off like a woman does in front of a poll at a strip club. That man then is sinning, Driscoll said. I mean, the guy's right. Driscoll is 100% right. There's a poll. Women use that poll as strip clubs to seduce men, get money thrown at them, pennies, quarters, maybe if you're poor. Um, essentially, prostitution is what they do. I mean, they're not going into sexual acts, but what they're doing is seductive. Now, some of them may do sexual acts. I'm sure if you pay them extra money, they might see you in the back alley. John Liddell argued that Driscoll had crossed the line by not bringing 
the concerns directly to him before addressing the audience. As a pastor, you should know damn well that, hey, um, someone's going to say something if I don't say anything. This pastor should have went up and said, hey, uh, we're probably going to have something that's a little X-rated here. Um, we should have a vote, maybe. If y'all don't want him to come up, he ain't going to come up. You already see the poll right here, right? If you don't want to see what's coming after, I get off stage and go ahead and leave. Well, we won't do it at all. But he didn't do none of that. He just said, hey, come on up here, stripper, buddy. Go and do your thing. Swallow that sword. Quote, if your brother offends you, go to him privately. I talked to Mark for a half hour. Well, this is what John says right here. Uh, after uh, Mark got off stage, there was not one word if he wanted to say it. He could say it to me first. He didn't. You may not agree with me. You may not agree with him. But we are brothers in Christ. And there's a right way to handle this, Liddell said. Yeah, the right way is to not have this guy show up to your Christian event, man. It's a Christian event, man. This ain't no stripper club where you hired this man to get naked. Mark did nothing wrong, in my opinion, but maybe he should have been like, hey, I'm about to go up here and uh, ask why the hell this guy was on stage, why he's opening this conference with the Jezebel spirit. Then he could have been like, no, no don't, don't get on that stage if you're going to do that. But if he says don't get on the stage, then you know there's a problem. You shouldn't be able to not say anything, especially if you're Christian. If you follow Christ, you know damn well Jesus would have went up there and threw him off stage. He did that in the dang uh, church when they had those tax collectors and shops set up in the church. He went in there, flipped tables, all mad, talking about this is the house of the Lord. What y'all doing? Turning it into a, a dang uh, business operation. According to social media users, uh, the two pastors later returned to the stage to discuss the proper way to handle such disagreements within the church community. The social media response has been mixed up. One of the users defended the performance as a mere male acrobatics, arguing that seeing it as sexual in nature speaks to the viewer's own issues. <laughs> so this social media person right here is basically saying, well, if you got a problem with this guy taking his shirt off, well, it's probably because you're gay. That's your problem. That's your own issue because you're gay and you just don't want to come out open with it. That's, a lot, that's why a lot of these uh, liberals or anyone in general says when you have a problem with someone's sexuality, it's because you yourself have that internally. Which isn't typically true, but it's like saying, hey, you got a big truck because you got a small PP. Same thing. You know what I mean? Conversely, Twitter user Caden, uh, who shared the video, emphasizes Magala's history as a stripper, suggesting that the performance intent was indeed sexual. So he has past uh, sexual performances, which I'm sure he brought that into this performance, because how are you not going to get in front of a you know, hundred, if not a thousand men, take your shirt off, swallow sword, and touch a stripper pole and it not be sexual. And you may or may not be bisexual or gay or straight up straight. We don't know that. I mean, the guy went and performed at male gay bars, women bars. So he's got to be, you know, a little, little on the fence. That's all I'm saying, allegedly. He added, this was not an issue with Liddell. This was an issue with the performance that happened in front of our uh, church. Therefore, it should be addressed publicly. Liddell made it an issue about him, which is even more Alarming because he did allow it. Yeah, Liddell, why did you allow this guy to get up there on stage, man? Like, what's wrong with you, brother? The Gateway Pundit has reached out to the Stronger Men's Conference for a comment. But let me do this. Um, I've been up since 1 o'clock in the morning. The reason I'm hoarse is I have been praying for you, and my heart is very burnt for you. <laughs> And I want to be very careful with this, and it's not what I want to say, but the Jezebel spirit has already been here. The Jezebel spirit opened our event. This is a rebuke and a correction of no one. This is an observation. Before the word of God was open, there was a platform. It was a high place. On it was a pole, an ashram. The same thing that's used in a strip club for women who have the Jezebel spirit to seduce men. In front of that was a man who ripped his shirt off like a woman does in front of a pole at a strip club. That man then ascended. See, our God is not arrogant. He doesn't ascend. Our God is humble. He descends. And then he's 
swallowed a sword and Jesus cried. Okay, Pastor John, I'll receive that. Thank you. Notice how the crowd is just booing John Liddell because what he's doing is uncalled for. All right. Uh, Mark calling out John Liddell and this mega church for having this stripper come out there is completely appropriate. There's nothing wrong with that. In my opinion, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. They shouldn't open up the event like that, but they did for some reason. I have no idea. So this pastor is about to come up here and basically rebuke Mark. Let's keep watching. You're the crowd. You're out of line. You're out of line. Listen to the crowd, John. Let that man say his peace and move on, man. Just you made a mistake, brother. So here's this um, Alex Magala's page here. The guy is an entrepreneur. Does all kinds of stuff. Oh, look, there's he's swallowing a sword with a light in his neck. That's pretty strange. Does jujitsu. He sings. Oh, look, there's Eddie Bravo. You know, he's just trying to make that money however way he can. Uh, I, don't, I don't think this guy is a Christian for, you know, just basically looking at what he's been doing, what he has done, will tell you a lot about the guy. I mean, John Liddell could have Googled him and he would have showed his website right here. Well, I don't know about this guy right here. Oh, what, a stripper in the background? What? No, that ain't going to work. Matt Walsh writes, and yes, this guy's literally a male stripper. At least he was in 2016. The Daily Mail writes, exclusive how a dirt poor bad boy from sleepy Moldova town became a seedy Vegas stripper before wowing millions as a Britain's Got Talent's daredevil sword swallower. Alex Magala. Now look at these pictures right here. There he is right there. He's stripping. I mean, he's got money in his underwear. That's all he has on is his honor as a woman. Looks like an elderly woman. Yeah, so this is sure enough proof that you shouldn't have had this man on stage. You don't understand forgiveness and whatnot, but this is out of line, man. <laughs> but flamboyant Magala has come a long way from his sleepy hometown in Orihi, said that wrong probably, visited by mail online this week, a town of just 32,000 people that is traditionally known for wine and tobacco. Quote, my life is like a movie, confess Magala, who has earned a nickname Bad Boy in his home country. Quote, perhaps you've seen his films uh, when a killer gets a text about his next victim. I have the same story. I received the address of the club, the time, and the uh, color of underwear. I arrive at the place, lights, music, fire. That's what he's saying as to him being a stripper. I got a time, a place, what color underwear, because you got to have the right color underwear, right, if you're a stripper. And then he shows up. Gets naked, gets paid, maybe has sexual interactions. Who knows? Among his regular hangouts is the Abbey Gay Club in Hollywood, dubbed the best gay bar in the world. Look at that. The best gay bar in the world he was performing at. Strange. He described how U.S. punters put dollar bills in his mini briefs during his performances, which he will do between uh, three and five times a week. Damn, he's active doing that stuff. Three to five times a week stripping. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about this. This is just my thoughts. Was Mark Driscoll out of line? Was John Lindell out of line? Oh, I, I tend to go with Mark Driscoll. He seems to have his head right. You know what I mean? His mind in the right direction. John just wanted to find someone to do something cool, I guess. 
Y'all let me know in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe to the buzz of you. See you on the next one.